kwa busia ni kwamba imebainika kuwa wanawake wengi wanakumbana na dhuluma za kijinsia ikiwemo ubakaji kunyimwa haki ya urithi pamoja na kujeruhiwa kutokana na ukosefu wa elimu na mapato Robert Marala ni mwanabari wetu wa kaunti ya Busia na anaarifu Kama ilivyoshuhudiwa katika maeneo kadhaa nchini sherehe za wanawake zikitawala wanawake katika kaunti ya Busia hawakuachwa nyuma kwenye sherehe iliyoandaliwa mjini Butula chini ya ufadhili wa RIP na kuhudhuriwa na maafisa wa serikali pamoja na mashirika ya kutetea haki za wanawake ukosefu wa ufahamu na umaskini umetajwa kuchangia kuongezeka la dhuluma za kijinsia kwa wanawake wamama bado wako chini sana uh, bado wanapitia mambo mengi kama dhuluma za kijinsia katika ofisi yetu ya RIP zile kesi ambazo zimekuja tuko na kesi karibu 1000 13834 ambazo tumezipata tangu mwaka wa what around 1998 kwa sasa kama shirika la RIP tunapata visa kutoka kaunti nzima na hata tunapata visa kutoka Kakamega mahali kama Matungu nimepata visa vingi sana kutoka Siaya ambazo wamama wamedhulumiwa kulingana na mkurugenzi wa RIP kaunti ya Busia Bimeri Makoha njia ya pekee ya kuwanusuru wanawake dhidi ya dhuluma za kijinsia ambayo kwa sasa inazidi kukithiri ni kuwapa mafunzo kuhusu uvumbuzi na teknolojia kisasa katika kilimo tunapoongea juu ya kilimo biashara ni wangapi wanajua ya kwamba unapata wamama wa mashinani bado wanatumia tu jembe ile ya kawaida na bado unapata ya kwamba hata upande wa ukulima sasa hizi tunaongea juu ya climate change unapata wanapanda mvua inawacha kunyesha na wanakosa chakula na mama ndiye anatazamiwa kwa nyumba kuleta chakula kwa hivyo inaleta shida nyingi sana. Unapata ya kwamba e, wanawake wamechukulia sana, wanatii sana mila kuliko sheria. Akiongea katika hafla hiyo, naibu kamishi na busia na ubunge la butu la Pamela Otieno amewahimiza wanawake kusimama imara na kupigania haki zao. And uh, if you look at even our government appointments, there are still less women. women are still less compared to men. And that goes a long way even to to make women lag behind. So I want to ask women to embrace the fighting spirit to go to school well to become economically empowered and then fight for the few spaces that are there because a strong woman fights for herself but a stronger woman fights for others Kauli hiyo imeungwa mkono na mkuu wa mashtaka kwa umma kaunti ya Busia B Faith Kaberia pamoja na mkurugenzi wa idara ya jinsia katika kaunti ya Busia Bernard Makeni ambao wamesitiza umuhimu wa uhamasisho kwa wanawake na wanaume ili kukomesha dhuluma za kijinsia Busia County is a very peculiar county where we have a lot of cases of SGPV and we also have a, a lot of cases of uh, defilement uh, unfortunately sodomy that uh, are as, as a result of cultural practices so as has been said by the DCC I want to reiterate an, an educated woman is an empowered woman Without that education you subject yourself to quite a lot of uh, abuses so we really need to talk about education and also empower our women economically men are the men at times are found on the wrong side of the law that the perpetrators very true and so we have a rigorous campaign to really really talk to men and not just uh, generally but we are also eyeing the council of elders Swala la dhuluma za kijinsia aswa kwa wanawake kote nchini limekuwa donda sugu na yote inatajwa kutokana na umaskini sasa kina mama hao wanaimiza kama serikali na washikadao wanaweza kuingilia kati na kuanzisha uvumbuzi pamoja na teknolojia za kisasa ili kuwezesha kuwa na mapato ya kutosha Robert Malala Nyota TV County ya Busia na mkuu ngirekoni kwamba maafisa 